Did Kylo Ren spare Rey's life? It's a good question. One of the most common theories that I've seen both all over the internet and in comments of my own videos is the theory that Rey was present at Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy when Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren had their uprising. Rey's life was spared by Kylo Ren and she was put into hiding by Kylo Ren himself on Jakku. The main reason behind this theory is that during Rey's vision in Maz Kanata's cantina, when she is on the ground witnessing the uprising of the Knights of Ren, you see a soldier come thrusting at her with some kind of club of sorts when a lightsaber that is obviously Kylo Ren's stabs through this guy's back. Under the assumption that this was a fellow Knight of Ren about to strike down Rey, but Kylo Ren had other plans. One big problem with this though centers around the common misconception that everything in Rey's vision is a recollection or a foreshadowing of something that directly involves Rey. But we can easily kind of deduce that based on her being in the hallway in Cloud City and witnessing Luke Skywalker putting his hand on R2-D2, those are a couple of things that Rey definitely did not witness. Now, she does see a flashback to her being left on Jakku with Unker Plutt, and, and that, in that instance, we see Rey witness a younger version of herself. So it seems somewhat safe to assume that even though she was witnessing this soldier come lunging at her, it wasn't necessarily a vision of her past or a manifestation of her past self that she was witnessing. Another problem with this all is the assumption that that character we see lunging toward Rey in the vision is indeed a Knight of Ren. And based on some concept art that one Redditor was able to piece together to the imagery from the movie to put together the actual Knights of Ren, it lends heavily to the idea that that guy was indeed not one of the Knights of Ren, but possibly a, a soldier or a student of some kind trying to defend the Jedi Academy as all the people around him were falling at the hands of the Knights of Ren. The first of two major factors that backs this up is that this character's helmet does not resemble that of the rest of the Knights of Ren. This character's helmet is very wide and shallow as if it's a really wide bowl of some sorts that he's got on his head. The second part is that he appears to have his face exposed if you look really closely. It's as if you can see him react and you can see his mouth move in reaction to being stabbed with a lightsaber. The rest of the Knights of Ren all have their faces covered by their helmets and masks. Now, does this all entirely disprove the notion that Rey indeed could have been spared by Kylo Ren and eventually left on Jakku by him? Not necessarily, because when you consider again that these aren't necessarily Rey's actual experiences within these little bits of things she sees in the vision, it's very possible that, yes, these events did occur and Rey could have been elsewhere, possibly at that Jedi Academy, and eventually, yes, left on Jakku by Kylo Ren. And based on Kylo Ren's reaction to hearing that Finn escaped Jakku with a girl, still a little bit possible. Now, do I believe that this is actually the case? No, I don't. I personally believe that the writers are likely a step or two ahead of all of us with what they're actually going to do with this story and that nobody on the internet, especially with a very common theory, is going to end up being correct. But considering that many people do have this theory about Kylo Ren specifically sparing Rey during this uprising of the Knights of Ren, I felt like it was something worth addressing now that we have a little bit more to work with as to the actual looks and features features of the different Knights of Ren based on their concept art and how people have been able to match them to what we've seen of them in that very brief glimpse, albeit, but what we have seen of them in the movies. And it definitely seems to lend that Kylo Ren did not strike down one of his fellow Knights of Ren, but rather somebody else that we will likely never know who that actually was. Anyway, that's all I've got today. I just wanted to address this little part of this theory that a lot of people seem to have that seems to have a little bit working against it at this point and maybe even more than a little bit but anyway if you like this video please hit it with the thumbs up i really appreciate that if you have any comments about this or other places you could build off this whole ray being spared by kylo ren theory because like i said not totally out of the picture just in the context that a lot of people seem to believe it to be not so much working anymore but if you have any thoughts there feel free to share them subscribe if you want more videos obviously and above all else everybody thanks so much for watching